Hello everyone, my name is Adi Wale. You welcome to my YouTube channel. Based on popular demand and um, especially for my friend Frank White UK Bespoke Footwears, I'm gonna be making this video today and what I want to show you is how to use the magic wand. So what application we're gonna be using today is paint.net. Now this um, particular tool, which is the magic wand, what I have right here, it's um, in the uh, Adobe Photoshop, Color Draw, and other applications. But basically, I mean, Paint.net is a very simple application with a very friendly um, interface and um, user-friendly tools, and you know, so you can you know just play around with it, and you know, it gets you to do what you want to do much more quickly and easier. Unlike the Photoshop, which other people find really, really, you know, difficult to maneuver and um, play around with. So what we're going to be doing today is um, using the magic tools to get rid of the white background which you have you know most times on the background of your pictures like when you copy up uh, your image on um, Google and you, and you want to get rid of the white background just because you need the objects only. Now this is what you can do. I've got an image here for example. So if you download paint.net which uh, I think is basically free you can just Google it and download that online so you might want to do this you know you might want to open the image up just directly or you might want to add it up as a layer either one you choose it is the same thing i'm just going to try both now and you see what we get now if we're opening up the image now you can see the globe it's got a white background and i want to get rid of that this is your magic wand you just click on that it's got a short key you can use the s so you might want to watch out for the tolerance this is set as 50 percent i mean the tolerance only makes the magic wand much more active if you want to get it up at 82 percent or 80 percent now when you click outside the box the area you want to get rid of it works so much in that it gets into the sphere or the globe itself and when you hit delete it gets rid of part of the globe itself and you don't want that to happen so you just undo and then you reduce the tolerance I think 50% should be okay so undo and when you eat outside the globe here you can see it's just working around the edges of the globe itself now you want to get rid of that by pressing the delete button now you can see the background is now transparent if you can see the check boxes behind there they appear in gray and white that means the background is now transparent but you still have the shadow cast which is just a little bit here now what you can do with that is increase the tolerance a bit or just try to walk around it you can see that I just click on that and you hit the lid button and that's gone off now so that is what the magic wand does it gets rid of the background so you can have a transparent background now when I want to save this just hit on your save button okay and you know that is already fine now you want to just hit on a um, file save as i want to save on my desktop blue world let's say free say okay yeah there you go that's your image up there now most importantly when you want to save your image you need to try and save it as a transparent file mostly you might want to use your PNG so if you have your image saved as blue or tree and you hit on save say ok and that's it it's your blue or tree you can see when I open up the image now the background is gone and this one was saved as JPEG if I want to click that now you can see the properties that's item type JPEG image if you open that up you can see the edges the white background is still there so this was saved as um, PNG you can see item type PNG image if you want to open that up the background is gone so that's how to do that now if you want to change or just you know you want to play around with the colors a little bit now what you can do is use the color picking tool this is the color picker you click on that and then you get your colors and uh, you know you want to change this for instance to white now if I'm picking this color for instance now 
it shows a big white then you might want to use your paint bucket to change that all around to white you can see that so you might want to also increase the window so you might want to you know get a little bit more grip on the image of the object in question now you've also got your utilities or your your toolbox where you can get um, you know the colors and everything so you might want to change the colors to probably red and just you know play around a little bit more get more pictures and quality from your object so basically that is that about that and uh, what you can want to do again is to convert the image sometimes you can want to invert the object and make it look like um, it's been mirrored or you know showing from a different perspective or from a different angle right um so if you want to use more you know colorful colors you can use the color picker to pick on red click ok come back to your pocket tool and click here you know change everything around to red just gonna undo that a little bit now and get rid of the white colors and see what we get now you may want to reduce the tolerance so the paint bucket doesn't become too much active so if you want to step that up a little bit yeah so you can see I mean just with this tool you can literally change any image or object from uh, the natural colors to what you prefer if you know what I mean so you can see we're just trying to change that around and I want to increase the size of the object so you can get a better grip at doing that all right so you just got a little bit more here to walk around with you can also use your paint brush increase the brush width to let's say 20 you can see it's too small bring it up to about 150 you can see the size so when you click here changes that to red you know you can do all loads of stuff with this it's a really fun application to walk around with and you know it's really cool it's really cool. also you can use your eraser to to wipe that out when i do that it makes that go blank and gets rid of everything now what you can see down there is the background so you know it's basically just perforating that and getting rid of all the red paints in there okay so i'll just open up uh, a new file just say okay and um, let's just try and um, import an image for instance you go up to Google type orange for instance or oranges um, da -da 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 -da. right I um, go to images just want to try and download a, a file right okay this is cool now save image orange still that being desktop Okay, we got that here. Bring it up and open up the image. Right. So now, if for instance I want to change the color of the orange as it is to green. Now, if you go to Windows and you bring up your color box and you've got green here, I mean, and then um, you go to your paint bucket, you paint that all green. Now this is not the exact color of an orange. Now you can see it looks really absurd, but by the look of the leaf, it looks you know more kind of natural. So if, for instance, you want to use uh, a natural color like this, and you kind of get the set from your color mix here, you can use the exact color on the leaf to paint the orange itself, and it's going to look so natural. Now what you can do by doing that is uh, undo, use a color pick tool now you pick a color you can see that comes up here I'll just pick the color you can see that comes up here if you pick this color you see it changes to orange so almost the same color so now you have green 
then you come to your paint pocket and you do that you can see it's just almost matching up with the leaf so you may want to reduce the tolerance and you know so that is just almost the same color so that is the color picking tool that is what it does you can pick up any color like natural colors using um like the skin color of the skin for instance if i want to um, change the color of the leaf to um the color of the orange itself by using that you pick the color of the orange then you come to your bucket tool you click on that and you know you change all that around now not that. right so that is basically what that does for you and um I mean, it's something you need to just work out and play around with you, you know just try out lots of these tools they're really fun and you know when you make a mistake you can just use your undo button to get back on track all right let's just open up a new file again and play around with more images I've got some files here all right okay now let's add a post as a layer okay okay now we've got that here right so for instance if you want to change the color of the shoes here I mean without using lots of shoes you just want to play around colors and you know give them all sorts of uh, you know funny colors yeah you can want to have your tool bucket and can see you change that all around and you can use your resin tool to get rid of that I just under that a bit now and right so this is what it does for you basically so to get a little bit more uh, grip on the on the object you can zoom and increase the size so you can have a little bit more now this is um, the tassel it's gonna be a bit difficult to get to get hold of that so I'll just leave that the way it is so basically you can check that to you know any color and just needs you to give a little bit more detailing and you can also use a paintbrush tool to you know this is quite big I'll just reduce that to um, 40 yeah so you can see you might just do that yeah that. but basically when you get rid of the lines you cannot really tell if it's um, a shoe or you know if it's something else because right so so this is basically what these tools do for you they've got loads of other stuff that you can do with these tools basically but you know this is just what you can play around with to get you you know your best result all right guys thank you for watching you can um check more of my videos and um check out how you can make um GIF images and use them as your Blackberry DP images and all loads of stuff like that. Thank you for watching. See you now. Bye